It's a bold claim to say that you won't believe something could actually exist, especially when it comes to something so familiar as monkeys. But we here at the Fancy Banana love to challenge you, and ourselves, from time to time. So we've assembled a motley crew of monkeys from the four corners of the earth. Some of them are weird, some of them are even weirder, but it'll be up to you to decide if you think they actually exist. From monkeys with a penchant for a big old behind, to macaques who like nothing more than to warm up after a snowball fight in a hot bath, here are 20 strange monkeys you won't believe actually exist. Number 20. Pied Tamarin here is a weird looking creature to get you started. The Pied Tamarin has, well, what could be described as a very specific look. It looks a lot like a cross between a bat and a monkey. It could be your average nightmare to be honest. The Pied Tamarin monkey can only be found in and around the Amazonian region where they're an essential part of the ecosystem because they eat lots of pests and control their numbers as well as dispersing seeds throughout their habitat area. These monkeys are also occasionally known as the Brazilian bareface tamarin, and they're usually between 7 and 11 inches long, with a 4.5 to 5.5 inch long tail. They vary in weight enormously, with a range of anywhere between 7.5 ounces to 32 ounces, but unlike many other groups of primates, these monkeys are led by a female alpha. She is the only one that's allowed to mate within the group, and she will even control that and ensure her dominance by releasing a specific pheromone that actually suppresses the other female tamarin's reproductive cycles. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Brown Woolly Monkey the Amazon area is home to many different and unusual primates, and here is another one of them for your lucky old eyeballs. The woolly monkey is the generic name for any of five different species of very furry primates that are found primarily in the rainforest region of the western Amazon River Basin. These monkeys tend to have short, very dense fur that varies in color depending upon the species, and they have a large round head with a bare face and a big protruding belly. These animals are active during the day and can often be found in small groups, and oddly enough, they're regularly found within other species of monkeys. In particular, the capuchins and the howler monkeys. These extraordinary creatures bear more than a few features that we as human primates can relate to. They're able to stand erect and are also apparently rather sensitive animals, requiring attention and a lot of other coddling, just like some humans I know, and they even seem to cry tears when they're upset. Number 18. White-Faced Saki Although these animals are known as white-faced sake, it is only the male of the species that actually sports this signature white face. That's the result of thick white or yellowish fur that they have all over their faces. The rest of their bodies are just covered in long black fur. In contrast, the females do not have such a snazzy outfit, but rather they're a kind of drab with short gray or brown fur and a boring, much less hairy face. The white-faced sake is mostly diurnal, which means that they are active during the day and spend almost all of their lives in trees. These monkeys are extremely unusual looking and seem to be wearing a head of human-like hair on their bodies, which at the very least is super creepy. Aside from that, they also have a bare naked neck and that adds to their freaky appearance, which apparently also makes it easier for them to go around rubbing all of that monkey smell onto trees and such. The adult males of the species are a particularly whiny bunch and like nothing more than going around marking their territory with their urine or by rubbing their stinky necks on all the things they can find. That's the location of their gulag gland from which they make their scent marking juices. Number 17. Tarsiers 
The Tarsier is a small furry primate with absurdly big cartoonish eyes that's only found on Southeast Asian islands like the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Brunei. But they did used to be much more widespread. Fossils of this type of animal have actually been found in Asian, North America, and European countries. These nocturnal creatures have soft fur, which is gray or kind of buff colored, and long tails. They appear to be a rounded shape because of the way that they cling onto branches, all kind of scrunched up and such, but they actually have real slender long bodies and long hind legs. The most distinctive feature, perhaps, is obviously their big round eyes, which are set into their very round faces. Considering the diminutive size of the rest of them, these monkeys are absolutely enormous with their eyeballs. In fact, they have the biggest eyes in relation to their body size out of any mammal out there. Each eyeball actually weighs almost as much as its entire brain. So, they also have a special skill. They can spin their head a full 180 degrees in each direction, almost like the exorcist. Or, you know, like an owl, if you prefer a reference with a lot less cursing and vomiting. Number 16. Bald Wakari this monkey is not only bald in the head area, but that head is also a rather striking bright red color, rather like it's forgotten its sunscreen on a beach holiday in Mexico. You know the look. This is apparently because the animal's blood flow is too close to the surface of the skin and is actually a good signifier of the state of the monkey's health. A pale-faced monkey is probably a sickly one and most likely suffering from malaria, which is a disease that is rampant in their habitat. So that rather sucks for them, I should imagine. Though they can be found across the Amazon River Basin, the bald-headed wakari are decreasing in numbers and distribution, all on the account of that perennial human-created problem of deforestation. Their habitats are rapidly disappearing, and therefore these monkeys are becoming much less common. Nowadays, they have completely vanished from Colombia, but may still be found in parts of the rainforest in eastern Peru and western Brazil. They are generally around the same size as a pet domestic cat, but much less beautiful, don't you think? Their distinctive red bald noggin certainly does make them stand out in the crowd, but they're unlikely to win any kind of beauty contest. They also sport a pair of large fangs, and aside from their bald head, they're covered all over their bodies in creepy flowing hair in a variety of shades like blonde, red, orange, and brown. You know, like a row of Garnier hair dyes and Walgreens. Number 15. Debraza's Monkey these extremely unusual looking monkeys can be found all across Central Africa. They're a species of old world monkey that's distributed widely from Angola, Cameroon, and Congo, all through the equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, and Gabon, to Kenya, South Sudan, and Uganda. Named for the explorer with the last name de Braza, these monkeys tend to live in watery areas and are, as such, often referred to as swamp monkeys and generally found no further than one mile away from a water source. But what makes the de Braza's monkey stand out is its staggering appearance. This is no ordinary bog standard monkey. They have a white beard and grayish speckled coat with a big orange arch on their foreheads. They also have a long black tail. but this is used for balance rather than being employed for climbing. The other most striking feature of the male Debraza monkey? Well, it has blue balls. Yes, and not in the euphemistic sense, they literally have a bright blue ball bag. It's reckoned that this is not only to attract females, yes, the ladies do love a pair of electric blue nuts, it's also believed that the shade of blue can actually indicate the monkey's social status, and it sounds a lot like monkey business to me. Number 14. Red-shanked Dok Langor Native to Indochina, the red-shanked Dok Langor is one of three species of Dok Langor, the others being the gray-shanked, the black-shanked, and they really pushed the boat out when they named these monkeys, didn't they? I mean, if I'm even pronouncing the name correctly at all. Anyways, there you have it, it's another monkey. People who enjoy monkeys, and perhaps you're amongst those who would identify as monkey fans, are apt to call these creatures kind of beautiful. In some respects, they are indeed more pretty than others that we've looked at so far today. And they're more colorful than most primates. 
These ones have a yellowish-orange face, eyelids that feature a hint of blue eyeshadow, and a large dark almond-shaped eye. They sport some long white whiskers and have a coat which may contain many colors, you know, a bit like Dolly Parton's, or perhaps Joseph, if you're into that sort of thing. The fur of these monkeys goes from black with gray speckles all the way through to chestnut colored on their neck, and then a silvery belly. Their name comes from the red fur that covers their legs, and they do have a white tail. Oh, and their private primate parts are red and white. It's a veritable rainbow of an animal. Number 13. Emperor Tamarin now, you may have seen these monkeys before. They are quite very distinctive with their long whiskers and have long been seen in zoos around the world on the account of their striking looks. The Emperor Tamarin is a small monkey which is mainly covered with darkish gray fur, except that's just for their very prominent facial whiskers, which look, to all intents and purposes, to be a fancy mustache. In fact, some people believe that they were named after the German Emperor Wilhelm II, who was famous for his fancy facial hair. These monkeys have long red tails and narrow hands, but they do not have opposable thumbs. They've actually got long canine teeth and come equipped with claws rather than nails on their digits. The Emperor Tamarin is found in the southwest Amazon River Basin, across the countries of Peru, Brazil, and Bolivia, and their preferred habitat is wooded, where they can be seen in both lowland and mountainous areas of forest. They also prefer to live in close proximity to a reputable barber shop, I should say, for obvious reasons, you know. Number 12. Galata the name Galata comes from the root of the Greek word, which means beast ape. I'm not really sure how these monkeys would feel about being described as such, but there we are. The Galata, or Galata baboon, is also known as the bleeding heart monkey on the account of the very specific bright red patch of skin that's displayed on their chests. This is more prominent in the males of the species, but is still present in the females as well. They're close relatives of the baboon and do bear a striking resemblance in shape to that animal. They're also similar in temperament and preferences and will spend much of their time in grasslands foraging for food. In fact, they eat a lot of grass. Up to 90% of their diet is made out of the stuff, but still they're getting their fiber at least. The markings on their chest is thought to play a role in their reproductive monkey business. In females, the patch of skin is very pale until they're in the right phase of their cycle, and then it's going to change to bright red and a bunch of fluid-filled things appear on the patch. It sounds kind of gross, but apparently it gets the dudes going. Well, they are primates after all. It doesn't actually take a whole lot to get them rolling, you know? They just have to see a banana and, well, everyone's getting a special cuddle after that. Number 11. G's Golden Langer. In some parts of the world, it can be a dangerous thing to simply exist as any creature. You know, like in much of the Amazon region where deforestation is destroying your home and, you know, forcing you into more and more dangerous places all the time. But there are a few animals who really win in the luck department and find themselves in the absolute right place. One such animal might be G's Golden Langer. Not that they're actually safe from harm or habitat loss or any of those things, they're actually still super in endangered, but they are also considered sacred, which has to be at least a little bit satisfying. These monkeys are found in the region that borders India and Bhutan, and they're pretty rare. They're estimated to be about six to six and a half thousand of them left in the wild, and they're kind of long and skinny and are, surprise, surprise, a sort of golden color. This coat of golden fur actually alters with the seasons, becoming darker in the winter, and the langur eats a lot of leafy stuff. It has a special compartmental stomach, which allows it to break down the large amounts of cellulose that's featured in leaves and extract the most nutrients that it can. Now, now, they are rarely seen, and that's partly on the account of being few and far between, but mainly because these monkeys are actually shy and secretive. They, unlike many other species of monkey, actually prefer to mind their own business and stay well hidden. Number 10. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey how is all this monkeying and such working about for you all? Don't forget that you can definitely get involved and tell me all the things that I've either forgotten to say or mispronounced in the comments section down below. Next up, we have the Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey, a creature that is fairly well described by its name to be honest. It's certainly golden in color, and this monkey does indeed have a really prominent snub nose. But what else could actually be said about it? 
Well, the golden snub-nosed monkey is also known as the Sichuan snub-nosed monkey, and they're native to parts of China's Tibetan Plateau. But unfortunately for this unusual-looking primate, things are looking a little bit crap. They're threatened by habitat loss and tourist activities, as well as being illegally hunted, and they're amongst the world's 25 most endangered primates. So it really sucks to be them. These monkeys live in some pretty chilly places and generally thrive in mountainous forests where the temperatures are the coldest of any non-human primate habitat in the whole entire world. So these monkeys are kind of tough. It's thought that they've evolved their flattened nose as a resistance to frostbite, which is no doubt convenient in their frosty landscape. Number 9. Crested Black Macaque the crested black macaque also goes by the name of Salawesi black macaque. These monkeys are found only in the very specific regions of the Indonesian islands of Salawesi, Manadatu, and Talisi. Sadly for these monkeys, they're threatened by just about every sort of hazard to their continued existence that you can conceive of. They've suffered massive habitat loss and are hunted mercilessly, and as a result of this, the species has seen a 90% drop in its population in just 30 years. So that's a big bummer. And speaking of bums, these monkeys certainly have those. The females have large pink bottoms, which are designed to attract a mate. The males have smaller but heart-shaped posteriors that are more of a modest shade of pink. These backsides play a very important role in the mating game. And the female's rear end does all the work in the attraction part of the process, as when she is ready for that special cuddle, her butt will light up like a Christmas tree and get extra swollen and round. And those male macaques? Well, they simply can't resist a lady with a big bottom. They're just like LL Cool J when it comes to the booty. Number 8. Mandrill Another big old world monkey, the mandrill, is found primarily in West Central Africa. These guys certainly have a distinct look. They're famous for their especially colorful faces, which can display a veritable rainbow of snazziness. These primates have red and blue skin on their faces, but it's not only their faces, you know. It's also on, you guessed it, their rear ends. The posterior of the mandrill is bright red and blue and extremely prominent. These monkeys wear their rumps with pride, and their colors actually get brighter and more vivid when said animal happens to be excited. The mandrill is able to be quite aggressive when threatened, and they have a set of quite scary teeth that they'll use for that purpose. But like people, they also seem to use their teeth in a sort of smiling gesture towards other mandrills. They mainly hang out on the ground foraging for food, but will head up to the relative safety of a tree when it's time to sleep. And unfortunately for the mandrill, there are actually plenty of threats from which they need to hide. They're hunted by humans. Many Africans actually consider the meat of the mandrill to be a delicacy, and they're also suffering suffering from the old problem of habitat loss through the expansion of human populations and the growth of agriculture. Number 7. Cotton Top Tamarin Next up, the teeny weeny New World monkey known as the Cotton Top Tamarin. These monkeys are one of the smallest primates, but that doesn't mean that they do not have a distinctive appearance. These creatures are named for the very noticeable sprouting of long white hair that comes out of the top and the sides of its head and cascades in an impressive flow over its shoulders. The face and the back of these monkeys is covered with black fur, but they have an abundance of fluffy white chest hair just to top off their 80s adult film star vibes. Again, this is a type of animal in which the groups display a clear hierarchy of dominance, so much so that the female alpha will restrict any other females in the group from breeding by releasing a pheromone that they feature. The main pair in the group will be the leaders and will often be in a monogamous, reproductive relationship. They do get other lower members of the group to participate in the raising of their young, and that being said, despite this seemingly cooperative group, there's plenty of evidence that tempers do run high from time to time, and these monkeys are known to indulge in spiteful behavior, such as denying cooperation with monkeys that won't participate in giving them benefits. Punishments are doled out to those who do not comply, and the hierarchy is upheld through the use of aggression and vocalized threats, much like my home life growing up. So don't try to make a monkey out of these animals because they're not going to stand for it. Number 6. Howler Monkeys Now there's a very good reason that these monkeys are called howler monkeys. 
and it's not really because they're shy or that they're retiring quiet sorts. That much is true. The howler monkey is the largest of the New World monkey, and they can be found across many parts of Central and South America. They're a stout and bearded monkey with thick and long hair, and this can be red, brown, or black in color. But the thing that makes the old howler monkey stand out from the primate crowd is, of course, its big, loud voice. <laughs> These monkeys have a large organ in their throat that can grow their voice and give it huge resonance, as well as that big old extra bit that makes all that noise. They also have a big throat and a protruding jaw that helps them to really project their voices, and they turn out to be noisy little so-and-sos. Number five, spider monkeys. This is a type of monkey that lives in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. There are actually seven distinct species that are known as spider monkeys, a name which comes from the way in which they dangle in the trees with their long limbs resembling spider's legs. The spider monkey has all of those long, dangly, gangly bits, but they also have a prehensile tail, which basically means that it's able to grasp things and therefore acts as an additional limb, allowing the spider monkey to swing through the trees with the greatest of ease. The tail can actually support the full weight of the spider monkey when dangling from a branch, so these primates are especially efficient at maneuvering through the canopy of the rainforest. It also frees up their hands so that they can climb and forage for food. Number 4. Golden-Headed Lion Tamarin these little monkeys, well, they can only be found in Brazil. The destruction of their habitat is responsible for confining them to the very southernmost area where they live, and they can be found there living in the canopy of tall evergreen trees along the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. These monkeys do a lot of their communication by rubbing their scent upon their surroundings, and their scent glands are found in their pubic area and their throat. So, they put their stink on stuff by rubbing themselves against surfaces and depositing the secretions there. Ah, such romance. The thing that these small monkeys are especially good at in the wild is keeping a balance in the ecosystem. They play a very important role in the dispersal of seeds all throughout their habitat. A good deal of the fruits that these tamarins will eat also contain seeds that pass all the way through the monkey's digestive system and then out the other end, thus being deposited by the monkey via its poop into a whole new location. usually pretty far away from the plant where they found the fruit. Thus, the cycle continues, and who knew that monkey poos were the key to everything? Number 3. Japanese Macaque the Japanese macaque also goes by the name of snow monkey. This is because of the chillier climates in which these monkeys may be found. They live primarily on the Japanese islands of Kyushu, Shikoku, and Honshu, and these monkeys are perhaps best known for their ingenious use of the natural thermal springs where they may be found, living it up when the weather turns unpleasantly cold. The Japanese macaque has also found a way to make the snow so much more fun. These funny little monkeys actually like to make snowballs and play with them, and most well adapted to the extremes of the temperatures in their habitat, these snow monkeys have a really warm and heavy coat that grows in winter in order to insulate them from the weather. In the summertime, they shed to a lighter coat and probably spend a whole lot less time lollying around in the hot springs like Roman emperors. Number 2. Pygmy Marmoset this is apparently officially the world's smallest monkey. The pygmy marmoset is actually so very tiny indeed that it can fit in the palm of an adult human's hand and weighs only about as much of a stick of butter. Now, despite their diminutive stature, these monkeys do have a surprisingly long tail. This is not prehensile though, so it can't be used to hang on to things, but rather it's essential for the little animal to balance as it dashes throughout the forest. These monkeys are generally an orangey-brown color, and their coloring has given them some fairly effective camouflage along the way as well. Found in the Amazon region of northern Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru, Colombia, and Brazil, these little monkeys live in the trees of forests or sometimes in the dense bamboo near rivers and other sources of water. They like to be able to hide in the dense greenery of a forest because they really are like a snack-sized afternoon treat for many predators. These creatures, if they're not careful, will find themselves on the inside of harpy eagles, cats, snakes, and hawks. And so it turns out there are creatures coming to eat them from every direction. It's a wonder that they aren't a bag of nerves. They make rapid but well-considered movements and dash from one spot to another extremely quickly without loitering and drawing attention to themselves. Number 1. Proboscis Monkeys 
These are some of the biggest and fattest monkeys in all of Asia. The proboscis monkey can grow as heavy as 50 pounds, but that's generally the males of the species. The females tend to only be about half that size. They have a light brown fur coat, which has some snazzy red highlights around their heads and shoulders, and turns to a gray color on their arms, legs, and tail. But the thing that gives the proboscis monkey its name is that characteristic schnoz. Only the males are going to develop the distinctive nose, but my goodness what a nose it is. Sticking out like a beak, this snout is a nose that bears a resemblance to a kind of fat human tongue. It is attractive, isn't it? But what in the heck is such a pendulous and fleshy appendage actually for? Well, they're not exactly 100% certain how this monkey developed such a staggering nose, but scientists do think that these oversized face organs probably have something to do with mating. These sort of dangly things usually do, you know. And they serve the function of creating a chamber which will amplify the proboscis monkey's call, where they can use their voice to attract the ladies and to intimidate any potential rival male monkeys. You know, all that usual macho posturing, standard stuff, but with a hilarious shape. Well, we've reached the end of our monkey discovery extravaganza, but how was it for you? Which of these monkeys was your favorite? And which, if any, can you not believe actually exist? As always, let me know all of your fabulous thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.